this year, De Bortley Wines received one of the highest business sustainability accolades in New South Wales, being awarded the first Sustainability Advantage Platinum Project from the Office of Environment and Heritage. The OEH recognised the family-owned business as a world leader for sustainable production and consumption. The Platinum Project was awarded for the De Bortley Method, a unique potassium recovery system that is designed to recover and reuse caustic chemicals from the winery's wash water in a bid to reduce the amount of chemicals used to clean winery tanks and machinery. After five years of research and development and on a limited budget, De Bortley Wines Environment team has built a factory scale pilot of the system. With trials indicating it is viable for full scale operation, the team is now investigating building a plant that will aim to initially recover and reuse 50% of the winery's current cleaning material, leading to significant cost savings. De Bortley Wines believes the system has the potential for commercial application for any business using caustic chemicals. This is just the latest in a long list of initiatives the business has implemented over the past 12 years to improve sustainability from grape to glass, with the ultimate goal of being a zero waste winery. As a family owned business, leaving a positive legacy for future generations is very important to De Bortley Wines. Core to this has been the drive to address sodium salinity and water availability which was identified as a key business risk after conducting an environmental assessment 12 years ago to find a way to improve wastewater odour. My uh, brother, the, our managing director, Darren, he made a decision to go no added sodium. Um, this has transformed our business industrial ecology and now everything we do from the vineyards through to bottling through the marketing, uh, everything we do is seen through uh, a sustainability lens. We consider it through that position. And that just reflects on our family motto, uh, Semper Ad Majora, striving for better things. This improvement cycle started with a switch to potassium-based cleaning agents which solved the odour issues, while enabling wastewater to be reused to grow fodder crops that are sold to offset the cost of wastewater management. The De Bortley method takes this process a step further by recovering potassium from winery wash water to replace caustic cleaning agents. The system also reduces potassium buildup in the soil of the wastewater farm. The potassium recovery unit is a system that is made to recover potassium out of dirty wastewater. The system is a basically an electrolysis system and uses an iron selective membrane to split the potassium out, put it into clean water and produce a new potassium cleaning solution. The whole system is circular as grapes work on potassium chemistry. Therefore, between material that we buy and the chemistry in the grapes, we can recover enough potassium eventually to be able to fulfil our cleaning needs. Over the past 12 years, other key sustainability improvements the business has implemented include the installation of a 230 kilowatt solar system and 200 kilowatt solar thermal plant in 2013, which at the time were the largest solar panel arrays of their kinds in an Australian winery. Among other energy saving initiatives across the whole winery, this has contributed to saving approximately 1.6 million kilowatt hours compared to the base year, or the equivalent to the yearly energy usage of around 300 households. Upgrading refrigeration to improve efficiency. Introducing cross-flow filtration. The use of a natural gas air conditioning system and the production of a solar hot water system for warming bottles. With a vision for the future, De Bortley Wines is now working on going organic, aiming to have 5% of their wine being certified organic in response to consumer demand. We'd really like to try and start converting some of our vineyards to organics just to have a much more gentler touch on you know, the, the vineyards themselves. Um, we believe that you know, spray after spray after spray just adds to the toxins in the soils and I think nature, Mother Nature's just got to work her way back into the system somehow. And, you know, I know Darren's, you know, for as long as I've known, he's always been interested in organic and now's, now's the time to start launching into that as well.